Hello friends, hope you all are fine. Today I am going to share a new post which is DC Motor Direction Control with Arduino in Proteus ISIS software. In this tutorial I have given a complete step by step instructions on how you can control a DC motor direction and can move your motor in both the directions like clockwise and anti-clockwise. Uh, the link, this link uh, which uh, is uh, currently open in my browser is given in the description of this video so on by clicking on that link you can come to this tutorial from where you can download the protea simulation and can get the code arduino code for dc motor direction control okay so you can follow me and plus one it or like it on facebook anyways here's the uh, link for downloading the simulation for dc motor and I'm clicking it and then I am going to open with RAR. Here's our simulation. I haven't got the pin RAR license. So I'm simply starting this uh, simulation in Proteus ISIS. And here comes the simulation. In this simulation, I have used two relays. Here you can see relays. These are two relays. And for controlling these relays, I have used opto uh, sorry transistor, NPN transistor, and for this NPN transistor, I have used opto coupler. And here I'm um, getting the response from Arduino M2, and here's M1, which is there from uh, pin number two of Arduino Uno. You can download the Arduino library using which you can use your Arduino. You can simulate Arduino in Proteus. Uh, Arduino library link is also given in my post which you can download from, from i don't know where anyways i will add it i add the link here so uh, now coming back to our uh, simulation uh, i have designed a simple 12 volt supply uh, and i am getting these 12 volts here and ground everywhere where i need now you can see here the DC motor and one end of DC motor is connected with first relay and the second end of DC motor is connected with other relay. Uh, in the first relay, you can see the first pole is connected with 12 volt and the second pole is connected with ground. Similarly here, the first pole is connected with 12 volt and second pole is connected with ground. While the common pole of both these relays are connected to DC motor. Okay. Here is our uh, virtual terminal from where I will send the commands to Arduino board and Arduino board will uh, move this motor in both the directions. Now next thing I am going to do is I am going to use the code and here is our code. I am going to copy this code. Control C and I'm going to start the Arduino software and I'm going to paste this code here and from preferences I'm going to take this compilation it's already ticked so you must take this compilation so that you can get the hex file the location to hex file I'm not going to save it so I'm clicking cancel and uh, here's the link to my hex file which is just generated for this above board I have copied it control C and next I'm gonna go in the simulation double click it and I'm gonna post this link here control V ok now I'm gonna run my simulation and you can see uh, I'm sending it A and you can see when I have sent A that my motor starts moving in the anti-clockwise direction. Now I'm gonna send C and when I have sent C it's gonna move in the clockwise direction. Now I'm gonna send S and you can see it's stopped. So from virtual terminal I'm controlling the direction of my DC motor. You can check again C clockwise a anti-clockwise and you can also check these delays these delays for anti-clockwise this one is off and this one is on you can see here and for 
clockwise this one is off now and the first one is on and relays are here and for s both are on and that's why our motor has stopped because i am getting 12 volt on both of its ends so that's how you can control this motor direction in proteus isis uh, you can download the simulation from this link which is given in the description of this video and you can subscribe our youtube channel so that you can get such exciting videos right in your mailbox so uh, thanks for watching take care bye bye